Congressman Bradley Burns says he is more than pleased with the progress coming along at Brooklyn. Yeah, he got a personal tour of the facility today with the Mobile Airport Authority and tells Local 15's Derek Rose the vision at Brooklyn has the potential to be world class. Uh, very impressive, very impressive. It's a simple yet satisfying assessment from Congressman Bradley Byrne. And remember that street. Who toured Brooklyn today with Mobile Airport Authority Chief Roger Wayner. And the transformation that I'm seeing in some place that I've known my entire life is truly dramatic. The congressman most pleased with the progress that's been made in the short amount of time it's taken. But neither he nor Wayner are getting complacent. If you've seen what's happening on campus, that's the beginning of it. While Airbus and its suppliers will be the anchor here, expect to see a variety of businesses to compete for this campus to meet the needs of 4,700 people who will be working. In fact, Wayner explains, they already are. You're seeing that type of growth that now that we have restaurant outlets, while they're food trucks now, we have two different restaurant amenities that want to locate on property and put in what we would call an upper, pretty nice restaurant solution out here. For the congressman, this place has personal meaning. He remembers when the Air Force Base shut down in the 70s, and he's waited decades for a comeback. And now that it's here, and he has power to help in Washington, there are no limits to success. It really is just so exciting for me to think of how this community felt when they shut down Brooklyn Air Force Base. I mean, it was depressing. And to think that what we've done with this asset, what they're doing with this asset, to turn it into a truly world-class campus for all of these opportunities, it really makes me feel good. It feels like we have turned a huge corner of coming back around to where Brooklyn is the center of excellence for aviation, not just for our country, but for the world. At Brooklyn, Derek Rose, Local 15 News. The Airbus assembly plan is expected to begin production of the A320s late next year.